There are so many things that I wish I knew before saying yes to boating. Like knowing waking up at anchor could look something like this. I've actually lived through three major earthquakes, so a little bit of rocking and rolling is a walk in the park. As much as I wish I knew everything before moving on board, I know this would have destroyed the opportunity for me to be pleasantly surprised. This is Playa de Antequera on the island of Tenerife in the Canary Islands archipelago. It's the perfect backdrop for a morning coffee, despite the Atlantic swell and the rolling wakes from the high speed ferries. We have a rule on board that every morning at anchor starts with a swim. <laughs> Even though it's winter, the sun is shining high and temperatures reached 31 degrees today. <laughs> I wish I knew how spectacular having an outdoor shower could feel. When we're at anchor, we're limited by how much water we've carried with us. So showers are short, we use salt water, shampoo, and we can jump straight back in to rinse off. These buildings looked really interesting, so we decided to go and explore. Instead of a car, we used the dinghy. But that doesn't stop me from being a passenger princess. It sure feels good to be a princess. Not pictured here are the huge dumping waves that made getting a dinghy to shore pretty unglamorous. Even though we're just 10 kilometers from the main city, it feels like a place we have all to ourselves. Unfortunately, you can't eat these, or rather, you can't eat these without experiencing digestive consequences. One of the most important lessons about living with your partner in a really small space is the importance of time apart. And this might look like a solo adventure or just doing our own jobs on board. Having this independence and sense of agency is the thing that stops us from throwing the other person overboard. And just like that, we're heading back to the marina. This past few days has felt like a holiday because there hasn't been cell reception here and therefore no internet for us. I really want to get better at managing the boat on my own. Not because I have some intention of going solo, but because it seems silly to me to have this experience and not learn everything I possibly can. going at a grand speed of two knots. The thing that I'm learning now and somewhat struggling with is birthing. 
that is taking the boat out and back into its place in a marina. On the way out, we had a few communication struggles. Learning from your significant other is never an easy task. And now, going back, the slow sail is giving us some time to prepare for what comes next. I'm scared. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck okay. shit up. Okay, let me just talk to you about things. I know you know all this, but let me just talk it through. You got your sequence right, okay? What you want to do is just not turn too soon, okay? Yeah. And use your engine, but be aware that you know if you use it a lot, it's just for a moment, okay? But it's not. It's not. It's just. And that, okay? Well, it's, it's just like that, okay? That's if you're using lots of power. If you're just using a little power, sometimes you just feel the boat and feel that you're in neutral and you're still moving. Just give yourself a little bit of a boost, then back into neutral again. Okay? Don't be afraid of going in and out. What you just don't want to do is, if you're in reverse, suddenly throw it forward, okay? Like that. One of the things I want to convey with this channel is just how normal things are when you're living full time on a boat. Naturally, it becomes your home. So there are a lot of things that you would do in an apartment or a house or a flat, however you're living, which are pretty similar. There is a lot of cleaning to do. There is no other instance unless you're living in some sort of mansion where you have to clean the inside or well, you don't have to. but. You clean the inside and the outside of your house weekly. We do very normal tasks like the laundry and cooking and doing the dishes and changing the sheets on the bed. I often watch channels that show the highlights of sailing, which most people would assume is the sailing itself. In the nick of time, and while that is something which is really fun and exciting, I am a homebody who just likes to do things at home. If you are watching this, I hope that you can take some comfort in knowing wherever you are and however you're living, some things are always the same. And even if you're not living your dream life just yet, all of the things that you're doing now, learning to take care of yourself and focusing on making sure you're eating well and sleeping right, all of those things are practice for when you are living your dream life so that you have the energy to enjoy it and for your present self that you have the energy to work towards whatever it is that you want. That's all I have for you today. Thank you to everyone who comments, likes, subscribes. I love reading what you have to say. And if you have any good tips for confidence building in terms of birthing, you may leave them in the comments below. And I will see you next time. It's me, Alethea, over and out. <laughs>